hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and this is a second video where i'm gonna show you how to do this interesting light effect or light leak or white flash transition or effect whatever you want to call it it's very simple to make there are no plugins involved in this so you're gonna do it in just about two minutes so uh to do this effect so what i'm gonna do is uh so i have chosen three clips right here so this is one clip and this is the second one and this is the third one so as you see here it's an interesting shot uh, series of shots so what i'll do is to make this effect so you just open up the browser titles and generators and then you go about uh, generators panel and then you select solids then you select white and then you drag it onto your timeline so i'm gonna set the duration of this to about 10 frames so what i'm gonna do is uh, press ctrl d and then press 10 so uh, I'm gonna see where I want to do it probably somewhere here when the girl turns back So to make this effect what you need to do is you need to animate it So before that you just send the blending mode to about soft light so that uh, uh, You will see the difference. So then go to the opacity section right here then create it uh, keyframe then move about five frames two three four five add another keyframe probably about 45 percentage or something and then go to the end and then bring it back to zero so now you can see that we already created that subtle transmission we don't want to flashy right so we just want to keep it subtle here so that's why we are choosing it as soft light so to make uh, to have the same effect as a transition so i'm just gonna drag and drop option and then hold it and then drag it across so for this one i i, I can't use the same one because it's very subtle and then uh, it, it's not uh, pointing it out so i'm gonna say in the blend mode to uh, screen right here so if you see here it's just gonna make it flash it so it, it just have that white flash animation right so probably uh, the effect uh, it's it's kind of the same i want to play with the animation so what i'm gonna do is uh, press ctrl v uh, select the clip ctrl v and then double click here so then i can see that the keyframes are set according uh, as i've set it before so hover it here and then press ctrl and then you click then you get an option to do easy ease or easy in or ease out so just gonna uh, make the transition smoother so i'm press i'm gonna press easy ease there and then probably go to ease out so i wanna do it like a slow come in and then it, it just does it faster and then moves on right so i'm just gonna try that so let's see how it looks you see right so um, you see how the transition is getting affected so kind of flash or you want to do it slow and then slow and then exit it right so um, we have the same thing now we will so if you see here in both the screens it's affecting the entire screen so i just want to say like i want to do kind of like a light leak where i just want to affect some part of the frame so i just i'm just gonna drag it again option and then uh, drag it across so i'm gonna drag it here so i'm gonna set the size to one seconds now you for that you need to do Control d and then type it one second so we have the same thing but obviously i don't want the same thing to happen so uh we want to create like a light lake not affect the entire entire screen so i'm just gonna go to fx panel and then i'll go down to something called masks right here and then i'm gonna choose graduated mask so if you see graduated mask you get these two handles where you can move all around right whatever however you want to do it so uh, i'm just gonna keep it the same so this particular path the second handle right here so this is about the feather how much feather you want to do it you want to make it a sharp edge or you want to make it more feathery right so i'm just gonna drag it here so i'm just not i'm not gonna change anything just have it here so if you watch it back again so i'm just affecting a only a small part of the screen right where i will just want to transition to so drag it here and then if you want to extend the animation so you have the keyframes right so just extend it based on however you need it um, so Control v again so you can see that this is the effect so this is it guys here i'm going to show you again what we've achieved so far in about uh, two three minutes 
there's the first effect second one and the third one so you could use this kind of videos in any of your lifestyle travel videos or music videos or anything this is just an interesting effect uh, you you could do a mix and match of different effects see uh, how different blending modes affect your videos and so on so you could you could create stylized look using these effects so thank you so much guys for your time and thank you for checking if you found the information helpful kindly consider subscribing and liking the video and sharing it across until next time this is shady cheers bro